after three quarters of a year tearing down an old barn and laying the foundation for the new equipment shed, we started to see the vision come together of completing the shed and starting to set the trusses uh, on the new shed. This was the very first truss that we set. And at the end of the initial setting of the trusses, I took this picture of Eric and Michelle, kind of a celebration uh, of our accomplishment, only to wake up the next morning to see that the wind had blown down all but 12 of 41 trusses that we had set. And we were devastated. Uh, the trusses came down on the equipment. We, Eric had gotten up early the next morning and had seen uh, all of this and sent it to us and we couldn't believe that it had happened. And um, it was discouraging, but it took very little while Eric got right on the phone with his insurance company and also uh, the trust company. And the trust company uh, committed to make new trusses for the barn in less than a week. And we had them back up in Milton, Pennsylvania. And we started setting uh, the trusses that had fallen. We started resetting them. And uh, that would have been two weeks after the first failure. Uh, so what turned into discouragement, we sucked it up, got the new trusses, and got the crew back out. And with a lot of additional planning and bracing, trying to learn from the mistakes we made the first time, we started to put the shed back together one more time. In addition to the trusses having to be reordered, the bracing that was uh, anchored into the foundation of the three walls of the back of the barn, much of that was bent and had to be replaced as well. And uh, that hardware actually uh, came from Lancaster County, which is where I live. And so, uh, I got uh, in the order from Eric and stopped over to the store that he had purchased the hardware from and brought it up. And they started putting the new anchors in the wall. And then we started setting the trusses. And the progress was made quite quickly. And it was uh, pretty exhilarating seeing uh, the, the, uh, the barn get new trusses and starting to approach putting sheeting on for the roof. And uh, wow, this was all just a, one day it took to reset all of those trusses and put the bracing in and then the follow. And we actually started to put sheeting on the roof that day as well. So we, gave, we got a lot, of, a lot accomplished in a short period of time. And uh, wow, it was exciting to see uh, everybody pull together and get it done. I would like to add that between the, the two weeks between the first failure and uh, having the trusses remade and delivered and start to reset, we had to wait for the insurance company and an engineer to come out and examine the site. And then after we got a green light, we had to clean up all of the trusses we got. We moved in with chainsaws and uh, cut up the old trusses, none of which can be reused in a building because uh, they they have nail marks on them, and they're compromised, so you can't you, you can't reuse them. But uh, it took a couple of days uh, with the crew to clean up the barn floor of all the old trusses, and uh, then got the new trusses ordered and reset, and here we are.
And here's the final truss. And now we start setting sheeting. The sheeting that we used was 28 gauge. The sheets were 40 feet long. And I, I gotta admit, I carried a number of these up around the, from the front of the barn to the back of the barn uh, with uh, five other guys and they were heavy. <clears throat> uh, I don't know, these young Amishmen, uh, they pulled this stuff around like it was paperweight or paperwork, but uh, it was heavy for me. But it sure was a beautiful sight to see that maroon roof getting put on the, uh, the barn. Luckily, the next go around, the weather cooperated with us. We had beautiful weather uh, to get this done. It was the last, uh, last of February, 1st of March, and uh, we uh, avoided a lot of heavy wind. Took us a while to figure out how to get this sheeting up to the, to the workers on the roof, but we had to build a jig for the petty bone that lifted the, the stuff up. It is, again, surprisingly heavy. And uh, I don't know if it was Eric had said something somewhere in the neighborhood of a half a pack of that stuff weighed about 1,100 pounds. But uh, here are some air shots of the completed project. And uh, what a great feeling it is to be able to finish this off uh, get the roof put on. I do understand that the insurance company also got a hold of Eric today and they are going to cover the uh, cost of, of the destruction and he was able to order the aluminum or the steel sheeting for the side of the equipment shed and the back of the equipment shed that should be coming tomorrow uh, the company that Eric is working with uh, I think it's A.B. Morton in Lancaster uh, these guys really stepped up and got the, the everything that Eric needed and was ready within a, a 24 hour period they, he said he, they could have delivered the sheeting Today, today would be Wednesday, March the 2nd, but I believe uh, they are going to be getting the new sheeting for, uh, on uh, tomorrow, March the 3rd. Eric is going to be driving down to Lancaster and bringing that back with his truck. So here is a shot of the finished project. Uh, we can look at this with pride and satisfaction and a huge sigh of relief uh, that we got this done.